Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Max Resource Corp, Brett Matic. How are you doing today, Brett? I'm doing very, very well, Rich. Very excited to have you on the show. Congratulations on all of your success. We were just talking before we got started that since we've been talking about your company, Max Resource Corp, we've seen the stock and the price appreciation grow dramatically. And I just want everyone to put Max Resource Corp on their radar and on their watch list, symbol MAX in Canada, MXROF in America. And I have some questions for you, Brett. My first one, um, first of all, very good to have you back on the show. Can you tell us how the first quarter of 2022 has been for Max Resources? Yeah, the first quarter we've grown uh, from roughly around the in the 20 cent, mid 20s mark. We've gone as high as 90 cents. We're currently consolidating at the moment uh, in the 70s and 80s. So it's a it's a good a good time right now to look at the stock why it's consolidating. Um, we've had a we had a funding uh, at 26 cents. Uh, in that funding, we raised 7.7 million. We brought in a, a new partner. We took on 1.7 million. That company is called Endeavor Silver Corp. Uh, the partnership entails assisting us expanding our land position where we are in the Caesar Basin. So in return, uh, Endeavor Silver Corp, uh, they receive a half a percent NSR, which is a very small royalty, but we are really glad to have the support. Our next steps of what we're doing in Colombia, besides the land expansion, it's a fairly simple exploration strategy. So what we're doing is we're doing what you call IP geophysics. And this is pretty simple. Copper, copper is uh, very conductive. So basically what it does is it measures the spot response or the chargeability. So if there is uh, copper mineralization under surface, we can trace it with what we call IP. So the IP will give a, uh, give a third dimension in uh, companies or groups looking at what we got. So they can third dimension in getting a bit of an idea on the size and of what we've got there, but also it helps us with drilling by giving that third dimension. So they're our, they're our next steps. And then we'll continue on through the year doing quite a similar strategy, uh, a bit more complicated than this, but basically we keep doing this IP and that shows the three dimension of the mineralization uh, as we enlarge it. And the drill holes uh, act as, a, act as, as a ground truth of the actual IP. So it's a very, very simple process. And um, our strategy uh, of, de of demonstrating the sheer size of the copper in this basin is still exactly the same strategy. Well, clearly the strategy is working. We've seen huge success so far. Can you tell us what you're most excited about for the remainder of the 2022 year for Max Resource Corp? I think what I'm most excited about is we're actually now, we've been working here for two years and we're now entering that stage of drilling. I mean, every uh, for companies, they all want to wait for drilling. So yes. uh, that's what's so exciting. And we'll continue drilling throughout the year. Wow, that's great news. And Brett, has inflation made much of an effect on company operations and expenses? It hasn't really affected us, but we're, we're, we're a little bit different in that all our exploration team is in country. So we don't need the fly uh, exploration crew in and out. Um, so it has really affected us a lot because of that. Our, 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 Overall costs uh, are, are fairly low. So if, you know, if you're getting uh, costs uh, increasing, we're not feeling much of it because we haven't got all that infrastructure expenses that you normally have if you're not uh, having uh, all your operation and all your infrastructure and all your people within the country. Another thing is we're in a prolific mining area. We're not in the middle of a jungle with uh, using helicopters and all that type of equipment, which you need to use uh, in South America as you go south. So there's a lot of advantages that we have there, which is keeping, uh, keeping our costs down. 
Brett, can you tell us how the four mining concession contracts are coming along since you announced it last? So what we're doing with the mining concession contracts, we're preparing for the drilling. So we go through a uh, permitting, permitting stage, which we're going through. Um, so we, we see the permits being issued in the next couple of months, which is, uh, it's gonna be a couple of months of doing this IP survey at the same time. So that's our progression. There's a, there's a huge advantage in Colombia with drilling permits. Normally in a lot of other South American countries or any country in the world, you need a permit for each drill pad position. In Colombia, we get a permit for a large area. So it means when we're doing follow-up drilling, because your first drilling may not be exactly where you want to be. So you tend to, as you understand the deposit, you start wanting other drill positions. And in other countries, you then got to go through the permitting stage for the next position of the drill rig. So that's a huge advantage for us. And it means that our drilling won't be stop, start, stop, start while you're waiting for permits. Uh, so that's a huge advantage for us during the year. Does Max Resources have a goal of being acquired by a major or do you plan on developing your own projects? We, we're not there to, to develop. We're there to uh, bring it to a certain stage. Because we got a whole, we have a whole basin. Um, we we would joint venture different parts of the basin. But I think the end game for Max is really, you know, we think at the end of the day, you know, our company is going to take Max over, and we'll, really that is, and that's where we're getting um, a lot of interest from institutions coming in now because they want the capital return of a takeover. So. What we actually do now is sort of protect ourselves a little bit. So what we do is we bring institutions in that take certain percentages of the company. So when we come to a stage of a company want us to take over, you can make them pay more because they can't get that last chunk of the company. So that's another strategy that we, we, we are going through. And at the end of the day, shareholders want to make multiples on, on their investment. and all of that entails into advancing the project, drilling the project, and then coming, coming to a stage of um, you know, potential takeovers. I think there's going to be uh, a lot of this, what we call M&As, uh, in our industry over the next 12 months because there's the, the, the copper miners or even the mining companies. There's just not uh, advanced large copper projects. So at the end of the day, um, they'll, they'll look at you to a certain point, but I think we're going to see a lot of this M&A uh, uh, with uh, junior companies and medium-sized companies. And uh, usually, and in, in what happened in the last mining boom, that's what really, really excited the market. So I think the great thing about it is copper price is the highest it's ever been, uh, but this time of the cycle, I think it's only the start of the cycle, and we, like I said, we haven't even had M and A's uh, at, at this stage of the cycle. So I think, I think we, it, it, the whole whole of the industry, especially the copper space, is going to have an amazing uh, time in the next uh, year or so. I agree with the prices of these precious metals so high. You have to assume that these companies are going to have very strong balance sheets. So can you tell us how well cashed up Mag's Resources is? And if you plan on raising any more capital in the near future? Yeah, we don't need to raise capital. <clears throat> we have around 7 million cash in the bank. And also we have 7 million of warrants and options in the money. Great. So that means over the next 12 months, uh, we, we, we may be spending a chunk of that 7 million, but we would have 7 million coming back in from those options and warrants in the money. So we got we got all the cash we need, um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a amazing next twelve months. Brett, it's been a phenomenal ride here for the last few months since we've been talking. Is there anything else you want investors to know about Max Resource Corp today? I think we've got we've got two videos that are gonna gonna go on uh, during during this time. So one video is is what we what we call Conejo. So that video you'll see it's done by a drone. So the drone will show you where we're getting the mineralization, 
and showing you on how extensive it is. That's for Conejo. And then for Yuru, there's another drone video. So the Euro drone video, it will show you the grades that we had. We announced grades of uh, 16.8 metres at 8% copper plus 146 grams of done silver. They're true whips. Yeah, they're unknown. I, I haven't seen any type of, uh, of mineralisation like that. And funny enough, it's open at both ends. One's, 11, but one's uh, even up to 11%. So this drone video of Euro, it'll show you from the river base and it'll show you going up 100, 190 metres. And then it goes up another 120. So it shows you the expanse. We've done very little work there. So we're now going through, what we do is, as well as mapping an IP, we go into the addicts. So the addicts go in, in, into the mineralization. And what that does is helps us work out the orientation. So there's, there's, you know, there's the work they were doing is it's pretty simple, but having that mineralization at Euro exposed all the way up through the topography, we have a number of tools to be able to delineate that third dimension. And with delineating that third dimension, it gives it gives us a tool to be able to then continue at depth and follow and interpret the mineralization at depth. So then our drilling can be more accurate. And this is this is one of the great things about where we are is the mineralization is exposed. We're not doing soil sampling. We're not doing silks. So we've, we've skipped the step. Normally the step is you do all your geochemical, ge geochem and all your geophysics to then, you know, interpret where the mineralization is. Because it's exposed, uh, we've skipped a really significant step. Lastly, Brett, what is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Max Resource Corp? Okay, the best way to get in touch with the company is we look on the website, we have a contact with any questions on the email. So um, that's the best way. And we can, what we normally do is we send information out, get you on the mailing list and uh, any further questions, we can, we can answer it. We can only answer questions or give answers to information that's public, right? We can't, you know, a lot of people ask questions of what's coming next and uh, we refer to the news releases. So if you can get on there, get on the mailing list, you'll see the news releases come out and that's the best way. We also on the website, we have videos 
So it's great to have a look at these videos. We're going to do a lot more videos. This is just the first of doing these drone videos. Um, so I think that's the best way to uh, look at Max and also look, look what we are doing moving forward. Thank you so much today. I'm here with the CEO of Max Resource Corp, Brett Maddich. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information, education, and entertainment purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, since we've been talking about Max Resource Corp with Brett Maddich and his team, we've seen the stock go from 20 cents to a high of 90, currently at 70. Congratulations to investors all over the world. I must remind you again, once the symbol in Canada is M-A-X, in America, M-X-R-O-F. And if you like this video, we really appreciate it. If you smash the like button, comment on the video, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with the CEO of Max Resource Corp, Brett Maddich. Thank you for joining us today, Brett. It's been a, been a pleasure, Rich. Always a pleasure. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have a nice day.